Audrey's Reading Adventures. Today we will be reading Judy B. Jones and the Stupid Smelly Bus, Chapter 5. I'm super excited, so let's just get right into it. Chapter 5, Principal. After we left the nurse, we went to the main office. There was the boss of the school lives. His name is Principal. Principal is a baldy. He talked to us. Then Lucille raised her hand. My brother said that last year he had to come down here and you yelled at him. And now he's not allowed to beat at kids at recess anymore. Principal kind of laughed. Then he held the door for us to leave. After that, we walked to the water fountain and Mrs. let us get a drink. I didn't get along with them, though, because kids kept tapping on me. Hurry up, girl, they said. Yeah, only guess what? That's not even my name, I told them. Her name is Junie Bumblebee, said Lucille. Then she laughed, but I didn't think it was a f very funny joke. After that, Mrs. showed up, showed us where the bathrooms were. There is two kinds of bathrooms in our school, boys kind and a girl's kind. I can't go in the boys kind, though, because no girls are allowed, that's why. I tried to peek my head in there, but Mrs. snapped her fingers at me. The only boy that got to go in the bathroom was the boy I can beat up. He was jingling around very much. Then he started running all over the place, and he was holding the front of his pants. William, said Mrs., are you having an emergency? Then William yelled, yes, and he ran right in there. The rest of us walked back to our room. I touched Lucille's fingernail. She said that her finger on the Fingernail polish is called Very, Very, Berry. I'd like to have my fingernails red, too. The kind of polish that makes them look shiny. Its name is Clear. Clear is the color of spit. I hate Clear, said Lucille. Me, too, I told her. And I also hate... Yellow, which is the color of the stupid smelly bus. Lucille nodded her head. My brother said, when you ride home on the bus, kids pour chocolate milk on your head. Then all of a sudden, my stomach felt very squeezy again, because I had to ride the bus home. That's why. Why did you have to tell me that for, for, why did you have to tell me that for, Lucille? I said, kind of grouchy. After we got back to room nine, we did some more work. It was a game to help us learn each other's names. I learned Lucille and also a girl named Charlotte and another girl named Grace. Then I learned a boy named Ham, which we eat at Grandma Miller's. Pretty soon, Mrs. clapped her hands together. Okay, everyone, gather up your things. It's almost time for the bell. Then I heard a noise in the parking lot. It was a screechy brakes, and so I looked out at the window, and I saw the school bus. It was coming to get me. Oh, no, I said kind of loud. Now I'm going to get chocolate milk poured on my head. Then I chewed on my fingers. Get in line, get in line, said Mrs. When we get outside, I want all of my bus students to come with me. The rest of you must go to the crossing guard. Everyone was lining up. I was the very last one. Just then, the bell rang, and Mrs. Mar marched out the door. Then everybody else marched out, too, except guess what? I didn't. Okay, that's all we're going to read today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you want to see more of Junie B. Jones, make sure you hit that like button and come back for another video tomorrow. See you guys next time. Peace out.